Hey, I have a question for you. Do you think you would look good bald? Well, good news is this video is sponsored by Keeps. Did you know that two of three men will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they turn 35 years old? And if you don't think you're gonna look good bald, which I don't know, some people feel great bald, but if you don't think you're gonna look good bald, the only way to prevent hair loss is to start treatment while you still have hair left. With Keeps, you can get treated from home. That means no more doctor's visits. Everything happens online and they mail you the medication every three months. And medication, they have two generic brands of the only FDA approved hair loss treatments. You know what generic means? Cheaper. Generic versions are way more affordable than the name brand. And the best part is they're the same thing because the patents have expired. That's what generic versions are. It means when the medical company that invented the medication, their patent expires, then other companies can make generic versions of it. Thanks scientists and US patent law, prevention is key. So if you're ready to take action, go to keeps.com slash William and get 50% off your order. There's a link down in the description below. That's half. That's one over two. 0 0.5. Good morning little willies. In today's episode of the Little Willy Club, we're going to help my friend destroy stuff. We're gonna, let's, you know, we actually have to leave right now. Jimmy Neutron didn't eat his chicken nugget. But this thing's been sitting here for a solid like three, four weeks now. Look at that. Hard as a rock. We'll just leave that in here for another couple months and we'll come back to it. Future experiment. If I forget, you guys gotta remind me. This is my buddy, Buddy. Buddy is his name. His name is Buddy and he's my buddy. I don't understand what's so hard to, why? Why do you pick names that have other? And Buddy has something that I don't have. A slow motion camera that he used to film all the clips from the tungsten cube and hand in a garbage disposal videos. I'm indebted to Buddy. And right now he needs help destroying an office. And I have something that Buddy doesn't have. A machine built for destruction. A battle bot from the TV show. The robot formerly known as Red Devil. El Diablo Rojo. I am not Red Devil. I am not going to compete in battle bots. It's not El Diablo Rojo. Am I gonna get a bunch of haters on this video? William, that is disrespectful to the battle bot. You cannot fight things with BattleBot. BattleBot is only meant for Battle Arena, fighting other BattleBots. I'm sorry, I'm just very flustered right now. I have assembled the Corona Crew, and we're heading down to Buddy's new workshop to help him tear down some walls. Mr. Gorbachev, Ronald Reagan, references from four decades ago. We're here at Buddy's. Now we just gotta drag the battle bot out of the back of the truck. It's a nightmare. It's so damn heavy. It's like a two, three person job if you don't wanna break your spine. Let's head on in to Buddy's workshop and destroy it. Oh no, a curb. <laughs> what are we gonna destroy? All of that over there. Okay. See, how would you have destroyed this room without us? <laughs> it's gonna go right through the wall. <laughs> You've been a little bit grumpy recently. I want you to take your aggressions out on this wall right here. No, no, no. Whack it! Oh. That feel good? That feel good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something I noticed in the past videos with this robot is it's really hard to make it look cool and destructive because there's seven controls all happening at the same time. So I'm like big brain time. Let's take a second transmitter right here and a second receiver right here and hook it up to the robot so that someone can control a couple of things and then I can control a couple of things. So I've just spent like the past hour and a half trying to do that um, and it turns out the receiver is broken. I don't know what part of the video this is. I'm stress eating right now. Where did you get a Home Depot shopping cart? His rent is so expensive that he hasn't been able to buy any furniture and has to resort to theft. It's called trickle-down economics. Bad news for Buddy is the police are outside right now looking for criminals. Oh, never mind. They found some homeless people to arrest. Perfect. We need to fill the office up with cool decorations. So we've come to this thrift store. How long do you think it's going to take for us to get kicked out and them to scream at us for filming? Um, I'm going to say... Two seconds. Show us what you found here, Alex. Uh, I found a, I'm not sure what it is. I think this is some kind of a mouse pad. I'm pretty sure this is underwear that makes your butt look bigger. Oh. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. You could beat someone to death with this thing. $1,800 $1, for a crime scene? Well, this is this right here is an electric wheelchair. This should have been like $200 and I they only charge us 50 bucks. I literally forgot to scan. Can we get, we got a free TV? Oh, it's a TV. Oh, hell yeah. All right, Alan. Welcome to your new, new work environment. I love it. In today's experiment, we're going to take this robot 
and we're going to make it tear down these walls. Check out the office setup we've got going on in here. We've got an office chair, we've got an office screen, we've got office pictures, office keyboard, office desk, microwave, office plant, coffee maker, office fan, television, Home Depot bucket, casting couch. Alan! Yes! This is your office! It's, re it's really crappy! <laughs> hey! What kind of material have you been reading? Uh, you XML. Know, romance novels, programming. Tear down typical. this myth how the Reagan legacy has distorted our politics and haunts our future. These are my grandparents. Uh, this this is uh, my stepdaughter. God rest your soul. Yeah, rest in peace. I hope you have fun oh, on your yes. first day of work. Thank you. Uh, there's, the there's, there's some construction going on right over there, so sure. just ignore it. Sure, yeah. No, absolutely. Th thanks, boss. Be productive. Yeah, oh, don't don't use the internet at your work internet until I get porn. Okay. Doing my job so I can get paid and live and eat food and pay my rent and also be alive. Oh, oh, Alright, I'm done. I quit. I quit. I'm done. Oh, 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 oh. You said it wouldn't go through, it went right through. <laughs> Holy crap. Knocking over the studs and everything. Hell yeah. This is exactly what we needed today. We have glasses on, it's perfectly safe. <laughs> I can't really tell which direction it's going because it's completely covered, so I'm gonna close my eyes and use the power of sound to see where it is. Oh, that no, was fine. Oh, yeah, it's a fine. Where'd it go? This is probably maybe the most fun I've ever had in my life. <laughs> oh, except for the time I spend with you. Everyone, cover your ears. <laughs> nope, we're not gonna listen to that. The saw can be kind of underwhelming. Just driving the robot around is so destructive that the saw, I just, ah, it's not as exciting. We've almost completely obliterated the office. There's only a couple pieces of furniture left. The cabinet and the couch. We've absolutely destroyed your workshop. The cabinet was easily destroyed, but the couch put up a much bigger fight, which honestly is kind of embarrassing. At this point, I'm starting to think if you threw a pair of wheels onto a couch, you might actually have a chance of winning BattleBots. Yeah, you know what? I think uh, I think this is a win for the BattleBot. The last thing we're gonna try to do is tear down Buddy's ceiling. It's a, it's a fake ceiling. It's the ceiling that hangs below the real ceiling. Why do places do this? I don't know. All right, in this experiment, we're doing robot versus ceiling. Remember yeah. when you were a kid and if, if when, and your you parents, I don't want to say, if you had parents robot, and your parents tied, we're gonna do that experiment today. If anybody here has like someone in their family that's a kid who's losing teeth, baby teeth, that I don't really wanna deal with a kid who's losing adult teeth, uh, give us a comment, we'll, we'll rip their teeth out. You gotta be in SoCal. You gotta be like two hours from, you gotta be like an hour from LA and we'll come and we'll rip your kid's tooth out. Yeah, for free. It's gotta be already falling out though. I'm not gonna rip a tooth out that isn't falling out already. What are you doing over there? Buddy Blackley, are you ready for your extreme workshop makeover? Yeah, cover your eyes, buddy. I'm, I'm smiling under my mask. We're gonna reveal your new workshop makeover. Yeah, I'm so excited. Ready? All right, buddy. Three, Three two, two, one. one. <laughs> Rat V. 
feces. So much rat feces. Some discoveries are better left undiscovered. One out of ten. Would not recommend tearing down a sub ceiling because we have aerosolized 50 years worth of dried rat feces. Well, you're very welcome for your extreme workshop makeover. Good thank luck you, fixing you. the disaster we just unleashed on your workshop. Bye! Oh, we need the robot. Crap, it's all tangled. <laughs>